I I cried for like six hours after the exam. Locked myself in the room. Seven months you prepared. You worked hard. You you were just sleeping for five hours. Yes. And that was your routine for a long time. Even now, how did you manage the series in uh, lift? Yes. In lift, you yes. used to in those ten seconds yeah. you solve a question. Yes. But you can't get consistent success without hard work. Thank you. Do you so, suggest people working to work so hard? Passion is a combination of two things. One is love, other is hate. Don't take the notes. You cannot take the notes. So I would usually watch your videos at 2x. When do you revise? No one could solve hundred percent PYQ. Do you advise people to leave their job? Hi guys. As many of you have been asking me how to prepare for gate, I felt like someone who has already topped it will be the right person to answer this question. And today I have with me Hari. and hari is hari has got ar6 in 2019 so all india ranks 6 not a diff, easy thing in 2019 and let us know from hari what is the strategy he has followed to get this rank and before that let us ask hari to introduce himself hi hari this is the first time you are i think this is the second time you are coming on to my channel yeah. and a lot of things have happened in between so yes. please please introduce to the crowd about what you have been doing what you are up to Yeah, so uh, thank you, Ravi sir, for having me back. I think it's been four years since I was here, and uh, a lot has changed. And I'm really sorry that I've not been able to come more often. Uh, I have been mostly working at Microsoft with and with all the new AI stuff coming up, right? So I've been at the center of it. So uh, I'm working for the Copilot team now at Microsoft. What is Copilot? So uh, Copilot basically is the new uh, Microsoft product where they are integrating these uh, new large language models from OpenAI, right? Like GPTs into all of the Microsoft products across. That will help you be more productive and and make you do more with less. basically that's the main fundamental so that's literally the ai revolution and we are part of that at microsoft now so i've been really busy but yeah i feel it's a good time to be back <laughs> okay how did you manage gate preparation with full time job i wanted to actually not uh, do the job while preparing for gate and i actually asked this many times to my sister and every time i got scolded back so basically it, it's that you want to have that cushion uh for making sure that you do uh, well and 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 that kind of motivates you like when you know that you are at a place where you can do better right so having that job actually motivated me to be better prepared because every day i do that job with knowing that hey i can i i want to do a different thing right i want to for example work in ai whereas my previous job was core software engineering so doing that every day motivated me more that hey i don't want to be here Okay so you were doing what you didn't love yes so you hated doing the job yes. and that has motivated you to do better in gate preparation correct okay <laughs> nice to know that I, i didn't know that this could also be uh, a motivating factor for people yeah so <laughs> hating hating what they do <laughs> yeah. is also a motivating factor it is a very powerful emotion right? emotion yeah you there are two powerful emotions it. love and hate love and hate yes. love and hate i think we both we both are <laughs> having the same opinion about it right so yeah. there are actually that is true even uh, i read some book i think uh, uh, uh the name the book name is uh, good to great it it should be somewhere here mm -hmm. have you read that book good to great no i have not i will give you the book okay i will Thank find you. the book yeah. and i'll give you the book at the end of the pod so in that he has he written that passion is a combination of two things one is love other is hate yes. you do something so well because you love it so much and you do it something so well because you don't want to do anything else you are you hate doing anything else right so can you describe your day schedule how, how you have to go to office and then you have to prepare for gate how yes. did you schedule your yeah. gate preparation right so uh, my job was a standard 9 to 5 job uh, wherein i will need to reach there by 9 so i try to take a flat very near to the office so that i don't waste time in traveling still around 15 minutes i needed to travel so i'll start from my home at 8:45 and i'll be back by 5:15 in the evening now i woke up at 5:30 am every day and then i studied till basically 8:45 or 8:30 and then i get got ready and went to office then even in office in lift wherever i will find time i will try to solve some questions in uh, lift 
Yes. We lived to use yes. to in those ten seconds yeah. you solve a question. Yes. How, where did you carry the questions? On my phone. Oh, in your phone you would open yes. the and in the lift also you. Oh my God! Yeah, like, so wherever I can find time, I will try to do that. Like for those. Six, I, I then while eating also you would have solved. You would you would be looking at problems and solving them. <laughs> Actually, food is one thing that I don't do anything. I enjoy food too much to disturb that. But yeah, basically wherever I can find time, even on like when going through the cab, right? I will be listening to your lectures on my. earphone just trying to make sure that at least i can do revision if i can't solve anything so wherever i can find time i will do that although i did not do anything when i was sitting at my desk because i very strongly believe in professionalism so i am a professional there representing a company and my team there so whenever i was there i was fully involved in working but wherever i was not on my desk i would try to study revise solve questions whatever i can do So morning it was from five thirty to eight thirty. Yes. Evening? Did you do anything in the evening? Yes. So after coming back around five fifteen to five thirty, I'll start from six and I'll go till eleven thirty, just having dinner in between for half an hour. Which means per per day, how many hours did you prepare for it? Around eight to nine hours, I would say. And how many months did you prepare like that? So I started my preparation in June, mm. uh, and then it went till January, so around seven months. Seven months you prepared, you worked hard like yeah. this, eight hours per day. Yes, that is how you got the rank. Yes. So, do you think that that hard work is required now for, by a student to get that rank? Yes, I think. Do you so. suggest people working to work so hard? Yes. There, there's no other way to success. I feel you can get some point successes, right? Everything aligns for you. You are lucky. You'll get some success, but you can't get consistent success without hard work. So, at some point of time, that luck will run out. So. Perfect. How did you take notes? Get notes. Yeah. So um, I I think I I watch your videos and uh, I I would usually watch them at two x. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, so slow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but but that's good, right? Everyone learns at different place uh, pace, so I can fasten it when like I, if I need to. So I would usually watch your videos at two x. and then when i have understood enough i will slow them back down to 1x and at that time i will take notes while listening to you uh, because that i can do parallelly and then so basically while listening to you i will write and then so that saved me a lot of time okay uh, that's how i optimized so so guys i want to tell you one thing even out of curiosity and also i wanted to know know this know this thing so what i did was I tried to write the notes from for for from my own lecture. I have opened some operating systems lecture, memory management, and then I tried to write down the notes for that lecture. And trust me, while watching the video for the first time, if you are writing the notes, you it will be very very difficult for your brain to process both of them. Once on one side it has to write, and other side it has to understand. So people are trying to do that, especially in live classes. In live classes, while I was teaching. don't take the notes you cannot take the notes and understand the concept and that is why you ask me to repeat again right so don't take the notes yeah. let first time you just watch it understand it second time when you watch it then make the notes yes. this is the most important point okay thank you hari for yeah, so, doing this yeah so so in recorded lectures it's easy because i can just watch it at 2x and then why rewatch it at 1x and write it mm. in live classes uh, you would usually watch it Uh, so just listen to you, and then go home and immediately write notes so that you don't forget, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When do you uh, revise? So yeah, so my day was divided into the the first segment in the morning was watching lectures and taking notes. Uh, in the evening, I will uh, solve questions, and in the late night, I would revise. So every day, I would do all three. So you you were sleeping at around twelve a.m. Yes. And waking up at around five, five. o'clock. Yep. Which means you you were just sleeping for five hours. Yes. And that was your routine for a long time. Yeah. Even now. I am trying to improve it. Like uh, now, my family and wife scolds me, so I have to. I I sleep now six to seven hours, but I I don't think I've ever slept more than seven eight hours. How did you prepare for aptitude and mathematics? Are they really important? Yeah, so I feel ma- aptitude and maths are like like they are very important just because they have so much weightage in in the exam, right? So I treated them as any other subject. Mm-hmm. I didn't uh, make them a separate thing. 
because I wanted to go in that flow and not have that separate mindset. Hey, that maybe these are easier. I think some students feel that, but I was like, these are just any other subjects and probably very important subjects just because of the weightage. So they were part of my general plan. I didn't do anything specific or special for them. Got it. And did you solve PYQs? And when did you solve PYQs? Yes. So I feel previous year gate questions are like the most important tool for preparation. I saw literally all of the papers, all of the questions and two times everything. So, okay. so, so as I told, right, my practice on the, on, so whenever I learned something, the first thing I jumped to was previous year gate questions, even before normal questions, because that allows, gate is a very diplomatic uh, paper. I feel like you, you, there are certain types of questions and certain patterns that are tested. And by looking at all the previous year gate questions, you would understand what is important and what is not important. There's so much syllabus, your brain can't keep all of it, right? So you need to do, basically it's like a pruning technique. So initially when you're preparing, you use those gate questions to train your mind to focus on some things and ignore other things so that your mind gets conditioned to gate questions. And that's very important, I feel. So... Generally, what happens is no one could solve 100% PYQs. Mm -hmm. There will be some questions which you could never solve because yes. the questions are formed in such a way that it is very difficult to understand the concept yeah. itself. Right. Yes. So did you feel demotivated because of that or any any that kind of? Yeah, so I, I, I did. Of course, I, I didn't mean to say that I was able to solve all of them. I attempted all of them. And then whatever I was not able to solve, I will give them a star rating. Uh, so a uh, rating one to five. Um, of questions that I'm not solving. So I treated them as like, Jobi bande ne question banaya, kya mas banaya, I'm impressed by that. So I will give them star ratings and that also allowed me to bookmark them in my book, uh, okay. previous year questions book. Okay. Then I'll revisit them later. I just, so I, I'm a very avid video gamer. Uh, I love video games. Is it? Yes. This I, is something which yes. I don't know. <laughs> this is definitely something which I don't know. I, I love video games. So I actually failed in my class 12th. Okay. Um, because I was like, I was addicted with video games. I didn't study at all. So, okay. so video games have been a big part of my life. So in video games, uh, there is this concept, right? That you can reach to a fight, right? And fail. You are failing because you are not prepared for that fight. So you go into other areas of the video games, become stronger, then come back and then fight. Okay. Right. So basically that is what I apply to get questions as well. I'll give them star rating. And then whenever I felt like, Hey, I'm ready for two star questions now. I'll go and attempt them back. Okay. So that was that. That's how I handled that demotivation, treating it as a game that yeah, hey, someday I'll be strong enough to attack them. <laughs> and then I came back and tried to solve them. So do you still play uh, video games? Yes, I have a PlayStation. So, sorry, I'm, I should ideally have an Xbox, but I have a PlayStation at my home. I play very regularly. So what about test series? How, how did you manage test series and... Uh, uh, and I think Jay and you are the uh, people from the same batch and yes. uh, you and Jay would be getting the same kind of ranks yes. and uh, almost you used to compete with each other, right? Yep. So then Jay has got AR2, you have got AR6, which means almost the same rank. Yep. So can you tell me about your test series and everything? Yeah, so uh, after previous year gate questions, I think test series are very, very important. Uh, you need to practice them. I, I used to give subject tests and the topic tests uh, along with my preparation. And then uh, full tests I, I kept for the last. So in January, I just gave full tests every day twice and on weekend thrice. So that allowed me to focus. But uh, Jay, Jay and me, I, I always used to see this. There is a person called Jay Bansal. He's always there among the toppers. Uh, some I, I'll be waiting. Am I doing better than Jay or not in those test series? <laughs> because I was for sure either Jay would be first. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I am second. And either I'll be first and then Jay would be second. So I'm like, my goal is to be better than Jay at these test series. I will definitely be one of the top persons. So that was a very healthy competition. I didn't know Jay at all. There was not even a photo or anything, just that name. And then I met him in the felicitation ceremony. I was like, dude, you have helped me a lot in my preparation unknowingly. <laughs> just by that competition. So now you both are going to teach uh, yes. Gate DA. Right? Yeah. So this would be really amazing. You were competitors, then you did yeah. your masters from different colleges. Then now you are working for Google and uh, Microsoft yes. and now so teaching. This is amazing. So let us see how it goes. Okay. How did you approach the exam one day before it, one week before it, one month before it? 
Yeah. So I'll start with one month. I think what I already referred to one month before, I just wanted my body and mind to go into that zone of, hey, we have to sit here for three hours and completely focus on questions. Because when you solve subject tests, topic tests or previous year gate questions, you are not, you are solving maybe 10, 15, 30 questions and then stopping, right? Mm -hmm. But in gate, you have to sit for three hours, solve 65 questions. So that's a lot even just for your physical body to be ready for. Mm. So my one month was just giving as many full tests, full length three hour tests as I can and making sure I am prepared to sit and get in that mind zone of just solving, solving, solving and keeping that focus from the first minute to the 180th minute, right? I think that is very critical for any competitive exam. Mm. So that was one thing. And uh, one week before, uh, I was just going through some of those five star questions that were always very difficult for me. So I was going through them so that I ensure that, hey, if if somehow similar pattern questions come, which which happens in gate a lot of time, the patterns do repeat even though questions don't. Yeah, yeah. So I was making sure that whatever are my basically biggest enemies, I am making sure that I'm better than them to be prepared for the uh, exam. right? And then one day before I didn't do anything, I, I just stopped. I was with my family and I didn't do anything. I was eating whatever my mom was cooking and <laughs> just happy. And one thing I would like to add, I so this one month, actually, I was not in Hyderabad. Uh, I went back to my hometown. I was with my mom and dad uh, because I wanted, I I just felt like with them, I'll have a better chance. And, and I wanted them, like my father always used to come and stay there in any of my exams. For the whole three hours, he'll sit out. Uh, even though exam center is like half an hour or 15 minutes away. So just that feeling of having family around was very important for me. Okay. So I think if you can, I know everyone might not be able to, but if you can, I think have family and friends around you for that last one month. That gives a lot of boost. That's great. You had got a lot of support. Yes, 100%. I, I, I think support is something that goes unnoticed, but you need a lot of that. So do you recollect anything that has happened on the day of the exam? <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> i i cried for like six hours after the exam locked <laughs> myself in the room and i just cried because i felt my exam had went like very bad and the reason for that was i came back home i started watching youtube for like uh, some questions they'll start putting right all these coachings that hey this is the solution according to them and these are the questions that students remember and they are trying to solve so I saw around 10 questions and out of those, uh, six of those, I, I recalled my answers to them and five of those were wrong. Okay. So in my math mind, I am I am now doing all stats. And I was like really, really depressed by just looking at those videos. And I didn't do anything for that entire day till night. Uh, uh, I just locked myself in the room, cried, 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 cried. That's <laughs> it. So my tip, don't look at those videos. It, it's not, it's very harmful. It, it plays with your mind. Okay. Do you advise people to leave their job and uh, pre prepare for gate? Or do you want people, or do you say that, you know, you can do it along with your job? Yeah. I, I have been asked this question after I did gate by many folks, right, who want to like who are in a similar situation and i think many folks are after their btech they land some job but then they want to do masters so my recommendation would be the same as what i got from my sister please don't leave your job ever i i can't imagine a scenario especially early in career right where you should leave your job that cushion is very important and basically i would tie it to that depression thing that happened to me on that day right i was crying and what got me out of that was knowing i have a job yeah that I'll be secure. Like worst case, I'll have this job. I'll attempt again or uh, like prepare for interviews and do an in industry switch. Something like that. Got it. That's very important, I feel. Yeah. So guys, uh, that's that's all from Hari. You can you might have learned a lot from him for the gate preparation strategy. And if you want even more videos from Hari, you please comment on this video about what you want to uh, learn from him. I am giving his LinkedIn account in the uh, description. And also there is a WhatsApp group uh, link, which is in the description. Join in, join in our WhatsApp groups, one of them. Just join in one of our WhatsApp groups. Definitely whatever questions you ask, Hari will answer them, okay? So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi, sir. And thanks, everyone, for listening. I'm looking forward to, like, interacting more. Yeah. Thank you.